What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. Moving on to the next word problem dealing with quadratic equations. So we have to find the value or values of x where the area of each of these rectangles is gonna be 42 centimeters squared. So we're dealing with rectangles, we're dealing with area, and just as a quick review, we know that area is equal to what? Length times width, just in general for a rectangle. And so starting with this first one, notice that we have a length here of x plus six, we have a width of two x minus five, and we know that the area of both of these rectangles has to be 42. So we could plug everything in, so the area is 42, the length is x plus six, and then the width is 2x minus 5. And then notice we end up with an equation over here with one variable to solve for, the x value. And so what you want to do in this case is pretty much expand everything, bring everything in one side, get it in that format, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, and then go into solving that quadratic equation. So let's first put in that format. So I'm gonna expand everything over here. So we'll have two x squared, uh, x times negative five gives us negative five x, x or uh, six times two x gives us positive 12 x, and then we'll have minus 30 like that. Then we got the 42, and then we'll have two x squared, these two net out to seven x, and then let's bring the 42 over that'll become a negative 42. And so we'll have minus 70, uh, minus 72, like that. And so notice now we have a quadratic equaling zero. Same thing here, quadratic equaling zero. So let me actually write this over here, two x squared plus seven x minus 72. When is that going to equal zero? And then here, what we can do is check if this is going to factor. So let me actually erase the, all of this here. So we got the A value of 2. We got a B value of 7. We have a C value of negative 72. And then notice that the AC value is going to be negative 144. Like that. So what two numbers potentially add up, or uh, multiply, sorry, to negative 144 but add up to seven. And those two numbers, if you work it out, it would be negative nine and then positive 16, negative nine and 16. Negative nine times 16 gives us negative 144, negative nine plus 16 gives us positive seven. And so what we could do is we can take that, let me just actually write out the quadratic over here, let's just work with factoring it. So we'll have two x squared minus nine x plus 16 x plus 72, all right? So we're decomposing that middle term into those two values we found. From these two, we could take out an x, so we'd be left with two x minus nine. And then from these two, we can take out an eight, and we'd be left with two x, um, sorry, this is minus 72 right here, my bad. Right? And I caught that because I realized that this bracket was going to be different than this bracket over here. So I was like, what was going on? Then I realized that I carried over a different sign, right? These two brackets should always be the same. So it's a nice check within the process. That was like a real time example where I made a mistake, but I caught it because I knew that these brackets should be the same. Right. Anyway, so we take that bracket out, 2x minus 9, and then we're left with x plus 8, like that. Uh, let's bring it back to the equation, though. So this quadratic factors into these two, like that. And so now what we got to do, we got to solve when is 2x minus 9 equaling 0, when does x plus 8? equals zero. So this is going to happen when 2x is equal to 9 or when x is 9 over 2 or 4.5. This is going to happen when x is negative 8. Now we got two solutions, but remember what you got to do when you're dealing with word problems is you got to take these, plug them back in, and make sure that it makes sense according to the word problem. So if we plug in 9 over 2 over here um, for both of these, Notice we'll have 9 over 2 plus 6, 
which would be like 4.5 plus 6, which would be what, 10.5? Or we can also change this 6 to be 12 over 2, so that would give us what, 21 over 2? So we'd get a length of 21 over 2, that makes sense. And then over here, we'll have 2 times 9 over 2 minus 5, the 2's cancel out, we'd end up with a width of 4. Right, and then notice 21 over 2 times 4 would indeed give us 42. But what if we plug in negative 8? Well, notice if we plug in negative 8, we're going to get a negative 2 for the length, and then that wouldn't make sense. Or if we plug in negative 8 here, we'd end up with a negative 21 for the width. And that doesn't make sense according to the word problem. So this is a solution for this abstract quadratic, but it's not a solution according to the word problem because you can't have a negative length or a negative width. So you got to make sure that you take your solutions, plug them back in to make sure that it makes sense. So this one makes sense. This one, however, doesn't make sense. And so it's not a valid solution. So the only solution for part A is x equaling 9 over 2. All right, so that's part A. And then same thing for part B. I actually think part B is going to be easier to work with just because we don't have a coefficient in any in front of any of the x's. So basically length times width has to equal that area of 42. And so expanding over here, boom, boom, 14x minus 3x, uh, positive 42 equals 42. Bring the 42 over. Notice that this and this will cancel out because you'll have 42 minus 42. So you'd end up with x squared minus 17x equaling 0 like that. And then solving this, easy to factor. And so notice that x can either be 0 or x can be positive 17. Those are the two solutions. But again, you got to take these solutions, plug them back in, make sure that make, they make sense. Notice that if we plug in 0 for x, we'd end up with negative 3 and negative 14. And negative 3 times negative 14 does indeed give us 42. So that is a valid solution for this abstract um, equation if we're not dealing with a word problem, but when we take it and apply it to the word problem, we get a negative length, negative width. That can't happen. So this would not be a valid solution, but notice x equals 17. We'd end up with a length of 14. We'd end up with a width of 3 over here. 14 times 3 does indeed give us 42. Right, so x equals 17 is a valid solution. So 9 over 2, x equals 9 over 2 is the only solution for part A. x equals 17 is the only solution for part B.